Let's continue exploring the universe within art and how that art can be influenced by your PC's hardware. I just got an upgrade to the RTX 4070 Ti GPU paired with the i7-13700KF CPU, which now allows me to run ray tracing on the Minecraft. And this is the defined PBR RTX pack. So for those of you who are looking to upgrade or just checking out what hardware is available, I decided to make this benchmark video. Now I did have a performance overlay running while I was recording this, but apparently it did not record it. Luckily though, you know, there were no spikes and no drops. Like basically the entire video ran at 60 FPS and my GPU never got above like 45% usage and the CPU never even got above 10%. So I am very, very happy with this combination, not only for RTX gaming, but also just for installing programs. You know, it installs, you know, humongous games and humongous files in the blink of an eye. And I am also playing at 1080p. But with all of that out of the way, I will provide occasional commentary. But for now, I will switch to music and let you just enjoy the showcase for this RTX pack.
RTX is just so super duper cool, I absolutely love it. One thing to note though is that currently candles don't provide light with the RTX packs for some reason. And also, hidden light sources don't really work with RTX either. You know, normally you can hide a light source underneath a slab or underneath a stair, and it will still provide light, but with the RTX turned on, you won't actually see that light. You know, it'll still be there to prevent spawning, but you won't see the light. So really, with RTX enabled, you know, you need to be more precise with your lighting. You want it to not be hidden, you want it to be very intentional. I'm also using the transparent glass pack from the PBR RTX packs, which can be a little funky at times, you know, especially when the transparent glass is reflective, you know, it just looks way different than it does in vanilla, so sometimes you get some weird stuff. You know, but the default terrain is just absolutely beautiful. The water looks spectacular. Even just grass looks way, way better. I love the reflections and the water. It's just so super duper cool. And again, you know, even though I don't have my benchmarks turned on for some reason, you know, I never dropped below 60 FPS during this entire video. You know, so the performance was absolutely great. The 4070 Ti can handle the 180 RTX packs, you know, without even breaking a sweat. You know, it never got hot, you know, it never got above like 45 degrees Celsius, you know, and it never got above like 45% usage either. So I would highly recommend the RTX 4070 Ti. You know, especially paired with the i7-13700KF, you know, I just find that a really great pairing. I was looking at benchmarks when I was deciding what hardware to get, you know, and I finally went with that combination, and I'm so glad that I did. You know, it's still within the affordable range, but you get absolutely fantastic performance. You know, no matter what I do or what I'm trying to put my CPU or GPU through, they just don't even care. You know, my CPU and GPU never go above like 40 to 50%, no matter what kind of stuff I'm doing. And I didn't even expect the rain to actually leave reflective puddles. Look at this, this is so cool. It started raining and now there are puddles forming on the ground and they're reflective and it just looks so real and so beautiful. Like how cool is that? Oh man, I didn't even expect that. That is so, so awesome. You know, but again, with this GPU and CPU, they are kind of on like the edge of price to performance in my opinion. You know, like the GPU is 800 or around there and the CPU is currently around 400. You know, and like the next steps up, you know, the price jumps by like $200, you know? So like these are kind of at like the higher end of the, you know, affordability rate. But anyway, I will stop rambling yet again and switch to music to let you enjoy the rest of the showcase. But really quick, you know, if you're liking this video, don't forget to like, favorite, share, and subscribe. And if you're liking the builds that you see, you can check out all of the people's channel who play in this server. This is the Guild Rock SMP, and I will be sure to link all of their channels down in the video description below so that you can check them all out. Or you can even check out my Let's Play. I just started in this server, so I've only done a single episode that's kind of like an introductory episode, but I'm super excited to continue my journey. And let me know in the comments what hardware you've been looking at or what you decide to go with. You know, do you want to go with the 4070 Ti or the 4060 or even the 4080? Or are you going to swing for the 4090? You know, or are you just going to say screw it and go AMD? You know, let me know it, what your opinions are of hardware, what you have in your own builds, and what you're looking at upgrading.
And that just about wraps up this video. But before I go, let me just mention a few more things. You know, just RTX looks so fantastic at night. Between the colored lighting and the reflections and stuff, it just looks so fantastic. And a lot of uh, RTX packs are way too dark. You know, you can't actually see anything. Like I originally tried Kelly's pack, but uh, like the problem I had with it is in shadows and stuff, I just couldn't see anything. It was pitch black and there's no way for you to adjust the brightness, so you just kind of have to deal with it. But these defined PBR packs are a really nice balance in my opinion. You know, I can still see in the shadows, you know, things are still really dark, but just they look so fantastic. Like, I am just blown away. But that's all we got for this video. Don't forget to like, favorite, share, and subscribe, and check the video description for links to other content. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you have any requests for future videos. But I really hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you again soon. Until next time though, I've been your host, Amelandu, hopefully teaching you a RTX trick or two and reminding you as always, don't forget to have fun. Bye bye.